Welcome back to World Crisis Radio. Uh, ironically, as fate would have it, one of the people who's going to suffer perhaps from the lack of cancer screening is Obama himself. Take a look at The Globe. Headline story, Obama lung cancer drama. And we're told here that Obama is now suffering from coughing fits, dizzy spells, chest pains, loss of appetite, but continues to smoke up a storm. We had that already in the Globe last week, that he was freaking out over his unpopularity and the attacks and, uh, and other related issues. Uh, the guy's been smoking Marlboros for 30 years. Uh, insider source says a lot of us are worried about Obama. He's losing weight, barely eats. You can tell something is terribly wrong just by looking at him. The gaunt commander-in-chief left the gymnasium in Washington, D.C., looking so skinny that his jacket seemed to be several sizes too large. President Obama is way too thin, says weight loss, weight loss expert Dr. Edward Jakowski. His face, neck, and entire body look drawn, stressed, and weak. Obama six foot one. When he got into office, he was weighing 180 pounds. Now he's down to 155. A published report disclosed that he recently collapsed, slumping to his death, uh, to his desk. Sorry, slumping to his desk in exhaustion. We also have uh, the fear of lung cancer, which is haunting Michelle because of his smoking and coughing. He can't keep his food down. At the last White House banquet, he left the room suddenly and vomited. He claims that he doesn't smoke in the White House, but as soon as Michelle is not there, he lights up a Marlboro. So apparently, according to this, he's only willing to go to his once-a-year uh, Walter Reed or uh, Bethesda Naval Center uh, checkup. Uh, he has cancer in the family. His mother died of ovarian cancer. And one of his grandfathers died of prostate cancer. So <laughs> this is the time for lots of tests. So this is a time when ORSAG could be the main threat to, uh, to uh, Obama as well as all sorts of other people.